4,000 people die prematurely, directly, because of air pollution. There, there are children in our city with stunted lungs permanently because of air pollution. And I'll, I'll, I'll come to you shortly. Well, no one can hear you because it's a radio show and you've not got a microphone. Okay, I just just. I don't want to give you a warning. I need to explain to you how radios work. No. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you except the people in this room. Uh, so, that's that's a final war. That. Okay, that's a final warning. For that's a final warning for you. My apologies to everybody listening on their radios who can't hear what the gentleman in the room is saying. Allow me to um, praise it. There is research from Imperial College, Sadiq Khan, that completely contradicts everything you've just said. Well, it's the research from Imperial College that says there's around 4,000 premature deaths in London. But when we introduced the ULEZ in central London, uh, in two years, it reduced the poison by 50%, but, but also... But also, I, I, just just let, let, let me let me handle things, I, all right? And then if, if I get it wrong, you can pick me up on it afterwards. But if we can't have, hear what he's had to say, then you can't start picking holes in it. But it also led to a third fewer children being admitted in hospital. So the policy works in central London and in inner London where we have it. The, the final question in this section: What are you doing about the air quality on the tube, which is shockingly poor? So, uh, so the health and safety executive. Uh, have standards when it comes to the dust on the uh, uh, tube. Uh, the dust in the tube is well under what the health and safety executive says, but we want to, notwithstanding that, make sure it gets even cleaner. And so on the tube, we've got 330 kilometres of underground tunnel. Each year, we deep clean 130 kilometres every year, uh, uh, but we are concerned about uh, any dust being above zero. And so we're going to carry on researching what more we can do, carry on working with uh, experts to make sure levels are even cleaner. But just to reassure, not just those who work in the underground, those who use the underground like, like I do, uh, the, the dust in the underground is not breaching any uh, health and safety standards. The uh, air quality, no, well, subsurface, it, it, the air quality subsurface is breaching the government's own uh, legislation, but also World Health Organization. Then there was research at King's from King's College London in 2019 that found the air in, the t in tube carriages was 18 times worse than roadside air above ground. So people, I suspect, like Max, will wonder why you're prioritizing roadside air above ground over carriage air underground. So, so on the underground, it's dust. On the subsurface, it is particular matter, NOx uh, and uh, nitrogen dioxide. So you'd say we're not comparing apples with apples exactly. when, we make, so when we make these so points. So just, 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 just to give an example of the apples versus uh, uh, watermelons <laughs> is...